Laura Mullen, a survivor of human trafficking, greets city officials in the Bronx at a recent event, highlighting the plight of trafficking victims. She was trafficked in 2014. I was at a local 7-Eleven. I was really down and out. I was addicted to drugs. And at the time, this person came up and basically just offered me a shower. And it was that little thing of saying, hey, you look like you're hungry. Do you need to take a shower? That led me to his home, eventually locked into his basement while I had to struggle to escape. Laura was offered food and a chance to freshen up. But then she was offered drugs and coerced into sex. Her ordeal lasted five years, during which she was too afraid to report her trafficker. I was afraid of turning to the cops because I was worried about being criminalized for what I was doing because we know that it's, it's, it's not legal and doing drugs is not legal. In 2019, Mullen was arrested on drug charges. A non-profit, ECLI Vibes, helped her start a new life after her release. She became an advocate against human trafficking. Advocates like Mullen worked to combat trafficking in New York City. Noting an increase in cases with the influx of undocumented migrants whom traffickers exploit. Advocates say victims often have no job, no family or support network, don't know the laws and don't speak the language. New immigrants are hitting the mark on many of these factors, are acutely vulnerable. And for many of them, you know, their benefits are running out. They're being kicked out of shelters, uh, which they were originally given when they, when they arrived. They don't have any ability to make uh, a living in the economy here locally. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says the city is working to combat the problem, but needs federal funding and changes in labor law. We have to stop ignoring the problem. We see what's happening because of the migrants and asylum seekers inability to work. Many of these young ladies are turning to a terrible means to support their family. The way we stop human trafficking is number one, go after those who are carrying out the act. And number two, give people the dignity to work. If we allow people to work, they won't have to do illegal things. Advocates caution that not all victims of trafficking are migrants. Actually, in New York, the vast majority of sex trafficking victims are U.S. born uh, women and girls. So and and they have histories of adverse childhood experiences, homelessness, foster care, residencies, dysfunctional families. They were sex trafficked or they are sex trafficked as children. Trafficking survivor Laura Mullen adds that everyone has a role to play. Just please keep your eyes and ears open and just know that it's out there. And if you see something, say something. Aushuman Apte, VOA News, New York City.